Hey there, it's Lois, and we are back in the visiting centre for part two. This will be the final part, and it's where I finish off the place and um, do a little cheeky tour at the end. Now, for this bar area, I didn't really know what to do with it. I just kind of put some loaded chairs and tables, thinking that um, this wouldn't be a professional bar. This would just be a bar for any visitors to go in and um, like any hotel, oh, what do you call it? customers kind of thing <clears throat> to um come in and have a drink and chill out because that's what happened when uh, i went to the went to my rest uh, restaurant went to um the hotel that i stayed in in italy now um i've got a question for this it might be a little weird question but um if you know think of your favorite tv show or movie what is your favorite movie that you'd like to live in like if it was real, would you like to live in a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> would you um, prefer to live in maybe a superhero movie? Stuff like that. I personally would love to live in <clears throat> maybe Batman because I love Batman. And to be fair, even if you it like it's a scary thought having villains pop up all the fucking time, but with um with, oh, with the possibility of having abilities and stuff and uh, falling into toxic waste and you've now got these fucking awesome abilities I'd, I'd go for it I'd become a um, villain straight away I don't even care <laughs> even if there's a chance to be next to my my joker I'd be I'd be I'd be pretty happy <laughs> even though he's abusive I know <laughs> but yeah comment down below what kind of world you like to live in because I'm curious I know that most of you might say, well, I know that a lot of people are obsessed with Walking Dead. But the thing is, is that you wouldn't want to live in that world, would you? Because it looks horrible. Oh, sorry about that. That's the um, motorbike going past. Because like, my um, my bedroom is literally the one close, well, not really, but the one close to the road. Because we, we live on like a um, pretty big junction. And it's, it can get very noisy. It's really annoying. <clears throat> I don't know what's up with my throat today. And I've run out of water. Damn it. Um, but also, if you um, have any kind of tips and tricks you'd like me to do a tutorial on, please say so. Because um, I've got a few written down now. So I'll be using those. Um, th those videos will be up pretty easily actually because they're very easy to explain because I know that some people don't really know a lot about building in Fallout 4 so I'll try and do the best I can to help you out yeah I'm just trying to figure out what to do with this place <laughs> I had no idea I am um, because I know that I did the whole not the other room was so big that I could easily fit a kitchen living room and um, dining room all in one place so I didn't really know what to do with this room I should have really split it into two and made two extra bedrooms that would have made more sense so if you're thinking of re uh, renovating this place you should make um, that big room into other bedrooms so that would be helpful now I didn't know what to do with this room I could make it into kind of a lobby but I kind of I don't know I kind of made it into just like a desk area it was really good here I am. I was going to put a lot of those along, but then it going with something a bit different. As you can see, I'll start putting them on diagonally. Th there I go. It was. It was. It's very tedious if you're thinking of doing it. It's annoying, <clears throat> but it reminds me of um, I have one of these in my garden, and um, we have fairy lights and stuff. And I thought it'd be really pretty if we do it like that. Right after I uh, record this, I'm going to go straight on to Hangman's Alley and, um, and just do my building stuff. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely totally sure what I'm going to build though. Um, I'm, I'm probably just going to walk around and go, "What does this place need?" Hmm. And I decorated my personal house there um, with a load of those new wall decorations. You'll see in the next episode. But. Um, Give me some ideas on 
what other things you think I should add in in Hangman's Alley. That'd be fabuloso. <laughs> Dude, what the hell was that word? But yeah, I'm just putting in desks. The desks actually look really nice in the end because I put in a load of junk all over it. And um, by the end of my junk decorating, I got so bored. <laughs> well, like, the thing is, is that like, I um, kind of got, I, I kind of wanted this finished. So I kind of rushed the last one and I wish I didn't. And I wish I could take off that bloody dirt on the floor because it looks horrible. That's why I'm, I'm so envious of um, mods like uh, oh, spring cleaning, something like that. So you can get rid of um, all of the shit on the floor. I make this into a lobby, but then I got rid of it and put in an extra bedroom. Which took me a long time. Oh my god, it took me ages. Um, if you hear any weird noises in the background, like people talking and stuff, really sorry. I um, don't really have any kind of, oh, what do you call it? Like the, um, the foam stuff <laughs> that you put on your walls. Memory, no, it's not memory foam, is it? No, <laughs> it's something. I bloody forgot what it was called. And I did sound technology in college and I've already forgotten it. <laughs> but um, yes, I am now doing one of the bedrooms there in, are in total um, three bedrooms but one of them has two beds so and I only had four settlers in this but you can easily make more if you want to um, expand the place or as I said earlier you could put some like, two bedrooms down in the bar area and if I decide to um, make this place into an actual settlement for um for like a let's build or something then i'll definitely expand on this place um get a load of uh, like extensions on the roof maybe make a watchtower on the roof so it ended up looking like a church really but I'd, I'd definitely be up for that but in when he gets to the end of hangman's alley i will definitely put up a poll on twitter of what settlement you'd like to see and you can even tweet me or even go on my Facebook page and comment what kind of settlement you'd like me to build and then I write them down on a notepad and then the most popular choice I will go for. That's what I've done with all of my settlements so far and it's, uh, it's worked for me so I'm gonna go along with that. These rooms are pretty basic, nothing's very personal in here obviously because they're like hotel rooms. They're all kind of the same uh yeah pretty much i'm not like super proud of them they're kind of boring for me but i wanted to get this quickly out the hallway was a bit of a bore as well so kind of just the basics on that but sorry <laughs> put any more of these candles i think they look really nice actually they do give a nice atmospheric lighting and uh, also looks pretty creepy, which I like. Also, like this place, if I was making it into a hotel, it reminds me of The Shining a little bit, just because the fact that hotels and creepiness combined reminds me of just The Shining. And I know that uh, it obviously doesn't look anything like it. It just creepiness and hotel. Yep, you get the you get the idea. <laughs> now this is how you do this with doors, where you can glitch them in quite nicely. As I'm doing it here, I'll probably include this into my um, tricks and tips uh, tutorials. And I make that into a bedroom as well. Once again, it's pretty basic again. Right now, I'm recording this at half past nine when yesterday I recorded the first part at like half one in the morning and I had to wait until it exported and I went to bed and uh, <laughs> I was so tired and I got to stop being lazy in the day and actually record but the thing is is that um, I, I was recording the whole day yesterday to get this video out <sighs> so, so 
So I hope you're uh, you're appreciative of the work I go through for you guys. I love you guys so much. You're so cute. Tell you now. <laughs> um, put in another suitcase, and then maybe a plum or something. Yeah. Oh, that is like my favourite weapon now. That fucking power thing. Oh, it's so good. Because I went with the child of Atom. Well, I went for everybody. But with the child of Atom, I focused on them a little bit. Oh, this snapped in really nicely. And at the... I can't remember what one. But at one point, they gave me Atom's Judgment. At, oh, God damn it. Atom's Judgment. And it's so good. It's pretty and it's powerful. Oh, it's so good. Like one hit kill super mutants, it's brilliant. This glitch is really nicely in, by the way. Well, I was trying to do the rug glitch with it, I was trying to do the pole glitch and all that. None of it worked, but you just found out that you don't have to use any glitch, it does it by itself. Which is quite, quite good. Now I uh, make this into the third and final bedroom. I could have made this into two bedrooms, but... I chose not to, I'm not sure why, I think it's because I didn't want the hallway upstairs to be really cramped, but maybe if I take this on as my final, final settlement build for the next part, for the next, oh my god dude, for the final settlement, let's build, there we go, I will add a lot more bedrooms, this was just a demonstration of what you can do with the place when you find it. By the way, while everyone's playing Far Harbour, does anyone get a weird lag going on? Usually my lag's pretty decent, but when I'm walking around Far Harbour, it gets so laggy in areas, like super bad. And I sit there and go, what is this though? <laughs> and it, it ruins the experience really, because I know that it's trying to render this, this new world and stuff, but when I'm walking around, it's, it's just so annoying when I'm trying to turn around or kill someone or whatever, as you do. It's just it's so annoying. But overall, I loved I loved the story. It was a bit short. Maybe because I went through it, like, busted through that. I think everything's short compared to um, the original game. But I personally liked that the child, children of Atom were into this in the fact that you can side with them because I always thought they were interesting but I'm curious if if I go up to the children of Atom in in um the oh what's it called damn it not the wasteland the well in Boston you know if I go around there by the Kingsport lighthouse there is a children of Atom kind of area where it's really um radiated and there's a lot of children of Atom standing around, they'll kill you on the spot. I'm wondering if I go up to them now, since I've joined them, will they attack me? I'm curious. Hopefully not, because it should be really cool. But I did, when I went to join them, I was really curious and if they're going to get, like, grab me, um, radiation free, something, to where I'd get Adam, Adam's gift and, um, you know, be free of any kind of radiation that'd be so cool but apparently no i was very disappointed so whenever i leveled up i think i leveled up six times something like that while playing Port far harbour and i focused on getting radiation um what's it called uh i was working on getting the trait to take less radiation right now i'm just doing kind of a basic hallway I decided to keep the windows open, I didn't want to board them up, it would just look, look very nice and I look forward to getting a kind of, um, for like a next DLC or something with new items that would get building where you can get those kind of windows to build, that would be pretty, really cool. Rugs are a pain in the butt. 
I tried to rug glitch in a natural rug a few times and then when taking off that rug it's a pain because it will just disappear it was like plop down it, oh, it's just too annoying too annoying so probably if you want to rug if you want to glitch a rug in use a pole or something because when you take away the pole it it won't um what do you call it it won't um drop down you know right right here i'm going to do some junk decorating so obviously this is all sped up the rest of the video will be junk decorating and then the final tour at the z at the, is at the end <laughs> oh god pretty much i'm dropping anything relevant for that area and then i place it using the the mm, oh, sorry tired again so that's all I am on this fucking channel. I'm always like, yawning or tired or something. That's me in my life. I'm always fucking tired. But yeah, just plopping things down, really. Hot by holding the X. I was trying to figure out how like, you rotate in different angles, but like, I failed measurably. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna um, keep on doing that. Pretty much going and build menu, picking it up, turn it around, leave it, and then in the live menu that you just pick it up and drop it that will stop it from glitching through the floor if anyone didn't know that and it decided to ruin my umbrella stand well my umbrella where it is stuck but you know I didn't mind it there I am looking for any more um, magazines or any free so yeah, whatever And then I'm gonna put down a load of booze. Some of it was a pain in the butt. There was lots of mistakes made, as you can see that. Up up there. <laughs> but I was putting a load of um, dollars down and um, just, you know, placing wherever. And then I was placing a load of bottles in the shelves, all over tables. I really like the new Vim pop stuff. It looks really cool, especially the glowing one. It really, it makes um, the, I don't know, it makes things look a bit more unique instead of having the new, annoying Nuka-Cola stuff. Cause I know that even stacking Nuka-Cola is a pain in the butt. Cause it likes to glitch through things, not nicely. But yeah, I'm just sticking random alcohol there even the rest on the tables by the way I've um, just dropped Nick oh, before I say that now that's to the church that's to the touch but this one isn't so the way you check is that you literally pick it up and see if the rug comes alone or comes with the actual object and then if it doesn't come with if it comes with the object then you have to fast travel quite a few times or something until it can be let go again sometimes there are really fussy items where it will take a long time until the actual thing will move away but yeah um, um i dropped nick so he's uh he's back in abenofi farm where i'm doing my hotel and i'm now traveling with longfellow which is the new companion you get in the DLC. Now, he he's a tricky one, I think, to get the infinity with. I want, I kind of want to know what his his likes and dislikes. All I've known is that he dislikes um, drugs and he likes alcohol. So I've taken both of those in front of him. He really dislikes me drink um, taking alcohol, but he loved not loved. He liked me. Um, taking in some alcohol and I actually got fucking addicted, addicted on two bottles like what is that but but yeah so I'll probably have to look up online and see what he's into so I can get his affinity I'm not totally sure what his affinity is anyway but it's it's always good to have someone um, to get everyone's affinity anyway take a sip of my drink I really quickly got one I'm drinking some still lemon and lime drink, which is actually water flavoured. 
goodness. <clears throat> I always believe that dumping a load of junk area. <laughs> dumping a load of junk area? What? But dumping a lot of junk in areas will really make the place unique. I love the way that the kitchen ends up looking with the junk. The only thing I don't like is the rugs that remain. I'm still angry at myself. But the thing is that if I, um, if I do take the settlement up, I will definitely take rid of <laughs> get rid of those rugs. But yeah, just placing some random stuff around. It's really good like a quick tip is wherever you go I suggest you pick up everything like everything you find because it will be used if you want to decorate your settlement it will, it will come into use really easily so with those flowers just go to grave shop uh, grave shops go to graves and uh, graveyards and stuff and just pick up a lot of those flowers and it, it makes a nice decoration I don't go too extreme on this decoration, I just kind of keep it light and easy, mainly for the fact that I want this finished. <laughs> oh, that was loud, sorry. Sorry if that blew your ears off. But the thing is that when I record, it makes it sound so loud, and then when I look at it in audio, it's so quiet, I have to fucking maximise the sound. Oh, what's it called again? Oh, God. Amplify. Oh, you know, that one. <laughs> And then put a plunger in the toilet, of course. Why not? There we go. And I think I just put a load of bottles around, really. Like I did in the... Um, like I tried to do in the bar. But a little less extreme. And that Brahmin is so loud. And I think that's it for this room, actually. Well, I try to put a few bottles in, and I think I don't succeed. Because <laughs> I try turning them around, and they just, just don't work. As you can see, there it's weird. And I just, no. Just, no. I was an idiot and didn't, uh, didn't place it right in the build, build menu. <sighs> I'm an idiot. Like that. But that fell and I just gave up. I rage quitted. <laughs> uh, and then I go upstairs and start putting junk around. Which is also a pain in the butt because I try and put in um, some toys in, but it kept falling over. And oh dear. I was kind of giving up at that point. <laughs> There's so much I can junk decorate before I get a bit insane there it falls out try and twist it back but I, I can't do shit so I just crouch and plop them in that one falls out <laughs> that one's fine oh god this is stupid and I just place a few like a teddy bear and I place a comfy pillows because I didn't want to make it too personal in here However, if you do want to see a nice personal room, you have to watch my hotel let's build. I've done two parts, or three parts, I think it's just two at the moment. And I've done the actual decorating for Piper's room, and I've done the rest of the building except for the bedrooms. So if you'd like to see um, Nick's bedroom, I might change up one of them for Longfellow. And then I've got Kate. I think and I can't find McCready for the life of me but you just have to watch it and see what I end up doing to it so here's the final tour of what the lovely place looks like here is the entrance but I will leave you now and I hope you enjoy the mini tour I love you all so so much have a lovely morning afternoon evening or night comment down below um, where you'd like to live in a movie or book or TV series and I can't wait to see you again so I will see you in the next one bye